Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm Fabian Lugop, I'm the Chief Resident in Interventional Radiology here, and welcome to Yale IR. Uh, so I will give you guys a little tour since you can't come here to visit, and we just wanted to uh, show you our department and give you a little taste of what it feels like. All right, so we'll just head down this way. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Just visiting. This is Leo, one of our technologists. Uh, this is the hello. CT room here. We have uh, Dr. Angelo uh, in there doing a case right now with one of our uh, junior residents. Uh, so they're doing some CT guided procedure. So this is our main CT scanner here. We have another one that we have a few days during the week, but this is really the, the workhorse where most of the CT magic happens. And as a resident, all of the second year diagnostic residents rotate through a two week rotation. Uh, as a, an IR trainee, there's additional blocks for more advanced procedures, yeah. ablations. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of our CT procedures are done by junior residents. Um, and you know, sometimes for ablations, um, the, the senior residents come over, but um, it's nice because I think for the junior residents, it's a nice opportunity to, you know, get their hands dirty a little bit and, and do some procedures and learn what image guidance really means. Okay. All right, we walk over here. Hello, hello, hello. I do know what you do. Yes. You're in faith. Uh, so here we're in the in the main control room, uh, the mothership. Uh, so here um, we have the two the two big rooms. So there's a procedure happening here right now with the really state of the art uh, Doc equipment. Dr. Agar is doing a prostate embolization. It looks yeah. like. Daryl <laughs> Zuckerman, uh, how are you guys doing? You won't see my face for a while until there's a, probably a uh, vaccine. Um, we have great residents here. We have even better faculty and uh, fantastic techs and nurses. So you'll get great training here, I think, and uh, can't go wrong spending a year in New Haven. Good to see you. And then the, the chief himself, uh, Dr. Madoff. Hey, everybody. David Madoff. Um, I'm the chief of IR, as Fabian said. I'm also uh, the vice chair for clinical research in the Department yeah, of Radiology. Um, so far, I've, I've been here since okay, uh, July of 2019. The, it's been a great experience. The diversity of cases, tons of tips, tons of PEs, lots of oncology, lots of um, uh, pulmonary AVM embolizations, because we have uh, the first HHT center that was uh, set up I believe in the world, but uh, definitely in the United States. Um, this is a very academic program. We have an excellent animal facility that we're doing uh, some groundbreaking research on liver cancer. Um, we have uh, faculty that are, um, you know, well known and. Uh, speaking at a lot of the national meetings. The section is involved in a lot of different clinical trials. Um, actually, one that I'm involved in is one that is on chemoembolization, plus or minus immunotherapy. And that's a study that uh, is sponsored by Merck, and it's a global study that's 165 sites worldwide. And actually, Yale is the only site in the country, or in the world actually, where IR is the only PI. So uh, out of 165 sites, having you know IR as a PI, I think it's a pretty major accomplishment and that's uh, done here. And maybe just like in a nutshell, if you had to summarize in a few sentences, what do you think are sort of the biggest strengths of the program for potential applicants that you would uh, want to highlight? Well, first of all, um, I think from an applicant standpoint, Yale New Haven Hospital and Yale School of Medicine is one of the top uh, training uh, programs in the country uh, overall. I mean, it's one of the best hospitals. It was recently in US News and World Report's uh, honor roll of the top 20 hospitals. Um, I think from a uh, training perspective, we have a wide variety of um, attendings who do uh, cases or seeing patients ranging from uh, you know, portal hypertension, HHT, um, you know, benign prostatic hypertrophy. We do uh, 
you know, one of the was one of the very one of the busiest um, prostate artery embolization uh, places in the country. We do a ton of interventional oncology. We have transplant programs, dialysis. Um, di di dialysis. We have. Um, we're doing the, the um, endo fistulas, so uh, that's a great thing. So we're very integrated into the medical system. We um, have a great residency program in general. So it's, you know, so you're also working within DR. So it's not simply the IR. It's really great, but uh, the DR, they're very, very committed faculty. Um, and I think New Haven is also really nice. I mean, it's actually uh, a really, really uh, nice place to, uh, to work. Yeah. So um, anyway, uh, welcome, and uh, we hope to uh, see you all. Hello, hello. So here, just briefly, uh, that's the other control room. So here we have two more uh, procedure rooms, which are a little bit smaller. Uh, you can see one of them here. So over here, we have a GE equipment as opposed to Philips in, in the other rooms. Um, but yeah, there's not too much going on here right now. So we can uh, just turning over the rooms. So we'll continue our little tour. So okay. here, yeah, this is the prep world area. So this is where, where the patients are before their procedure. So we go in here for all patients if they need a consent. And also in patients, actually, we bring down here before the procedure to sort of speed, uh, speed up the turn, turnover, the room turnover. So we'll just take a quick look here. This is our neurointerventional room. And we'll take a quick look in there's a case happening right now. One of our fellows, uh, Josh Corman, working is with one of the, uh, uh, the it's actually Dr. Johnson in there. faculty uh, and one of the junior ESIR residents, uh, he's a third year ESIR resident, Mike Lee, he's also in there. So you can see it's really, um, you know, different class working together, you know, sometimes they'll have a junior and a senior resident if it's an interesting case that they want to see. Um, and you know, junior residents also get a good amount of uh, autonomy in cases already during their first three years of training. All right, and uh, there's a lot of magic that happens behind the scenes. Uh, so here we have our uh, nurse navigator, Nick, uh, working hard all day, every day. And uh, yeah, so so a lot of a lot of things that you know, I mean that talk to, to trainees at other programs, there's a lot of work that happens that um, at other programs, sometimes the trainees have to do like making phone calls, scheduling follow-up procedures, um, making sure you know that, that patients are taken care of when they go home, that they know where to go, when they need their drain checked, et cetera, et cetera. And here, Nick really does uh, a lot of that work uh, for us, which is uh, extremely helpful and uh, we, we all really appreciate it. So. Uh, Thanks for Thank it. you, Nick. Thanks for all that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. And then over here, uh, we have the uh, we have the consult room. Um, so this is sort of where the where the consult machine sits. So usually we have uh, one or two APPs on per day, and then one senior resident and one junior resident, and we work together as a team. So it can be anywhere from like three to four people. Sometimes as a medical student helping. Um, so you can see right now, no one is here. Everyone is sort of swarmed out, you know, seeing patients, evaluating patients, uh, getting it staffed, getting things on the schedule. So it can be quite busy sometimes, but you know, since we're working as a team, it's really, um, you know, quite enjoyable and, and usually uh, very manageable. On a typical day, what would you say is like a rough estimate of number of consults? Um, can be anywhere from 25 to 50, I would say, uh, in, that, in that range, yeah. But, you know, sometimes it really depends, you know, because sometimes if you have like a couple of complex consults, it can take you a long time and other, other times it's just small stuff. So it's really hard to say, you know, sometimes it gets busy, but uh, it's usually very uh, manageable overall. All right. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed our little tour. Um, you know, we showed you the different rooms that we have and, and you know, how sort of the the day to day uh, procedure life looks like. In addition to that, you know, we have IR clinic uh, every day, different attendings have clinics on different days, and that's part of our rotations that we participate in, in clinic also. Um, 
And just for how the training here is structured, so we here at DL have already have a strong integration of the interns already into our program. So, so they're already part of the Yale IR family. And their intern year is actually structured so that they have half, half the year is internal medicine with a focus on rotations that really make sense for interventional radiology, including medical oncology, ICU, et cetera. And the other half of the year, hey, Anish, how's it going? The other half of the year is uh, surgical rotations and one month of IR. And the surgical rotations are also sort of tailored towards interventional radiology and, and uh, interventional radiology. So they have uh, surgical, uh, surgical oncology, vascular surgery, et cetera, et cetera. So then, you know, when they when they actually start with their radiology training, they can already hit the ground running. They're already part of the IR department. And then during their first three years of training, they have two months of IR per year, which is great. So you know, they sort of uh, stay engaged and 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 uh, and don't lose their their hands-on skills that they gained during intern year. And then the two last years of training, just like anywhere else, are uh, full-time. Uh, intervention radiology with the exception of a few diagnostic rotations. This year uh, we started an IR night float system so we, we're now here 24-7 so instead of uh, having random night calls during the week we actually have one uh, IR resident who's on call at night for a whole week which means that then during the day you can uh, rest and so far um, it's been really positively uh, received and uh, I think it makes us a better department because that way we're more responsive. So, um, you know, when we get a call overnight about a patient that, you know, isn't looking good, instead of having to come from home, we're actually already in hospital. So we can be at the bedside right away to evaluate the patient. And for instance, like Dr. Maddox was saying, we do a lot of pulmonary uh, embolectomies here. And uh, so since we started doing this new system, we're actually opened the first uh, doctor at the bedside. So when there's a PE, we're already often at the bedside before the, the CTA is even read, okay? Because we're gonna alert, okay, there's a PE, we go down, see the patient, and we're there before pulmonology, before cardiology. And I think the patients really appreciate it and also the other teams really appreciate it. So those are just some of the things that we do here. Uh, one thing that I personally care a lot about is also our uh, global outreach program. So we started a, an IR training program in East Africa together with Emory University. Um, so um, if, if that's something that folks are interested in, you know, I'm happy to talk more about it. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, reach out to us. Thank you so much.